critics in the substance abuse treatment community Friday continued to find fault with Donald Trump's approach to solving the nation's opioid epidemic. The president declared a temporary public health emergency that included no extra federal funding. Trump promised treatment, but emphasized anti-drug education. The president's announcement is really disgraceful, said Megan Glazer, deputy state director of Drug Policy Alliance's New Jersey office. If we can teach young people and people generally not to start, it's really, really easy not to take them. And I think that's going to end up being our most important thing. Really tough, really big, really great advertising, said Trump. And we're talking about an advertising campaign like, just say no, which has years of evidence showing that it doesn't work. It's beyond disappointing for the people and families here in New Jersey and across the country who are really awaiting a plan with details and money attached to address the opioid crisis, Glazer continued. Some advocates had hoped that instead of a public health emergency, the president would have declared a national emergency under the Stafford Act to trigger the immediate release of FEMA-style disaster relief funding.